<laughs> hey YouTube. Yes, that's the wall. Oh, that's kind of. <laughs> I don't know why I took that shot. There's a little thing inside this store, a little cutout, and uh, that is uh, a piece of the original wall. So they just had a a hole in there showing a piece of the original wall. Anyway, yeah, it's made of um, what was that called? Pug pug brick, I think it's called. Yeah, pug mill brick. I I don't know anything about that. I never heard of it before. Probably some of you know. Anyway, yeah, today we're going to do this place, and it's called the Basket Shop. We're back in Old Town Albuquerque, and uh, uh, it's a lovely little store. I I really like to do paintings of this this little store, and. Uh, when you see the pictures, your photographs, actually I didn't leave a photograph of it. I left a little video that you can pause if you want to draw one of your own. But um, uh, I do postcards. So, and I'm, <laughs> I'm short of vertical postcards. So uh, this one I did vertically and I'm telling you that to explain to you that when you see it, it's a little shorter and wider than I drew it here. But uh, but it's still, I like it this way. It comes out pretty cute. It's just a lovely building to paint. It's really, uh, it's just white. It stands out down there in Old Town Albuquerque. The place has kind of a dubious or not dubious, but uh, questionable, not even questionable. What am I looking for here? It's the history. I tried to find the history of the store. And it is believed, and it says on their Facebook page, that the, uh, the store sits on what once was, um, it was there was a church there. And I believe it got uh, flooded out. Several, you know, uh, oddly enough, along the Rio Grande, the valley there along the river, um, several churches have gotten flooded out. I did another one that got flooded out uh, just a while back in Corrales. But uh, the river is much more contained now, and that doesn't happen near as often. It, had the church been built there later on, uh, it probably would have stayed. But in fact, now there's there's apartments and stuff built all around. This is Old Town Albuquerque, and of course it's gentrifying all the way around it. But I spoke with an elderly gentleman some twenty something years ago, and uh, he was telling me when he was a little kid, he would help his father work, and there was a lake down there. But uh, there's no lake there now. Anyway, the river was uh, a lot wider back then. And a lot less, not as controlled. In fact, you know, I had, a, I had some maps years ago in the 70s that said that uh, it's, it had handwritten notes all over the maps. And uh, a historian had taken time to create them, create these maps of several states, New Mexico, Arizona, Utah. California. And it would say things like, you know, Apaches attacked, eight Indians killed, and one soldier or two soldiers or whatever it was, you know, things like that. And it said at one point there, and it was, I think, in the late 1700s, it said, um, first military crossing uh, of the Rio Grande at Albuquerque, one mile wide. That was the little note there. So, anyway... I'm going to leave a little clip here. You so here's a little bit of information on the building. And uh, erected in 1893. Pug mill brick. And it was originally a grocery store. Oh. Wow, there's a little sketch of it. Maybe we could just sketch like that in our journals.
building. Yeah, this building right here, this white building in downtown Albuquerque, that is uh, Daenery, the uh, church, Catholic church. But originally, I believe, the first Catholic church or the original church was here where this building stands. And it was either flooded or, I think it was, no, it burnt down if I remember correctly. In any case, I'm going to have a look. This car doesn't know what they're doing, I think. Um, somewhere. There were people, these names. No, there's, these are people's names that are just regularly sketched in here. Look at all these names sketched on here. I had heard that there was a wall. So, back anyway, here. I showed you that little clip because I've heard that, and it may be that you may have seen some names on there. Huh. They kind of look like people that just etched names into it, and I, I thought at one point it might be like graffiti. But I've heard that... Uh, there's another clip, clip at the end here, and you see the other side of the store, uh, which has expanded over the years to take over quite an area. It's a nice store there, many. If you visit Albuquerque and you like tourist stuff, uh, they have everything you could want in there. And anyway, at some pretty reasonable prices. Uh, but... Uh, uh, those names that were etched in the wall, I had heard that there's some content, some some differences of opinion. I kind of walked around downtown there and I talked to several people. And uh, one gentleman told me that that they weren't sure that several stores on that same block on Romero Street there claimed to have been the site of the church. On the web, on the uh, Facebook page for the basket shop, they just say that it was part of the grounds of the Daenery Church and Convent. But yes, you'll see, you saw a clip of the church across the street. Originally, it was somewhere either right under this store or right next to it. And um, but those names were. Uh, supposed to be names of the people buried there under in the uh, graveyard a long past graveyard you know and i've seen that too in modern times you know i saw once where they they put up an apartment complex and they dug up uh graves that were 100 and 120 years old they dug them up i saw a big tractor i mean front end loader came in and and uh, on a Sunday, I walked down there where they where the front end loader had scraped away the ground and made like a oh it had to be a ten foot you know slice in the ground. So I was looking at the wall, the dirt wall, and uh, I found shoes bare. I mean, you know, old wrinkled up shoes. That uh, so I guess they move the graves. I don't know. I don't know what they do in that case. But uh, anyway, yeah, so the building there and where they expanded to, to the right, um, was apparently the graveyard. And so anyway, yeah, a little great. They could use a new sign, which is funny to me because the place is really well kept, obviously does an amazing amount of business. And uh, it sells stuff. You know, and here's another thing, too. It says that um, I think it was started in business like in 1973. But I honestly thought that I remembered going there in the 60s. I'm wondering if it was another store. Anyway, this store is the same kind of place. But expand you know with more modern stuff but for a kid it had things like um did you ever have that gold 
it was came in a little little sack with a drawstring on top and it would look like gold nuggets but it was gum bubble gum or just regular gum or something but it was gold in color had things like that and uh, polished rocks that you could buy for a dime or 15 cents you could get a little bag with eight or ten polished rocks in it you know things that uh, children really enjoy I didn't notice if they still had that or not. I don't know. But I have been there sometime way in the past, you know. And uh, so, little panes gray in there, little shadow. It dries a lot lighter than what it looks like in the thing here. The little painting, this little painting came out looking pretty cute. Yeah, at the end, uh, like I said, I didn't put in a, a picture. It's um, just a little short video that uh, you can pause. I stopped it right at the front of the building, which uh, it's a fun watercolor project if you get an opportunity to do it. The building is at 301 Romero Street in Old Town Albuquerque. And you can't miss it. I mean, it, it, you, Old Town's only a few blocks wide, and there's the plaza there. And this one is right across from the plaza and the gazebo, and one of the few places that there's still a big gun in the in the park there. I wonder. There used to be. I think they're still there. Used to be some uh, cannons, like from uh, the Civil War that uh who was it sibley kearney was they were anyway the north was chasing the south and the south didn't want them to get the cannons so they buried them in the sand along the banks of the rio grande and they were eventually discovered down there And I think it's still there. I think there's still... I thought there was two of them. I, I didn't have a look this time. It's funny, you know, I I mentioned this, my mother's book, but somehow we seem to be running in similar circles. My, my mother just did a talk at... Uh, I think it's called The Treasure House, which is a bookstore. She just... She gives little... You know, being an author, she talks about her book at, at different locations and stuff. In fact, I think right now, today, she's down in... Uh, um, truth or Consequences, New Mexico. Which, oddly enough, my wife and I were there about a month ago, and I've got some videos coming up of Truth or Consequences. Another interesting spot, but that's for another day. So I went ahead and made the, the little buildings on the side pretty dark. And I've done this as a postcard. I've done it without painting the backgrounds in different ways. And, uh, but it just stands out down there in Old Town, Albuquerque. Well, what else have I got to tell you about this place? I've got a little clip in there that will show you there's a sign in there. There's a sign inside the store. And I took a picture. They have a photograph in there of the building way back in the old days when the street was dirt and things like that. But I decided not to put the picture in because I don't know who took the picture and I have no way of giving them credit for having taken the photograph. But there is a sign in there and I included a little clip in there which is about to come up. And of course, as usual, here we go. It's the end. I had a great time doing it. Hope you enjoy it. And here's a couple of little clips and then the credits. They had no information there, but there's a good shot of the basket shop. And uh, like I say, I have heard that there were names engraved of people that were buried under this area. But I can't seem to verify that. So in any case, we'll go with what we've got. Oops, there goes the FedEx guy in a hurry.
So yeah, here's the place that uh, does ghost tours. And they also have a history tour of Old Town Albuquerque. Uh, you can get on there if you ever get here and get a lot of history. This is the backside. And uh, if I'm not mistaken, the the of the store that we were just looking at, the basket shop on the front of it, this is the backside. And on the back side here, this building, I believe, is built on top of what was a cemetery. So, <laughs> I don't know too much about that. Anyway, the basket shop was established in 1958. And of course, we saw the little sign that originally when the building was built. So now I'm going to go across the street here to the Deniri Church, and I think they have a little store here that might have information. We'll check it out.